Okay, here's a gentleman who is uh, new to our show. Uh, he's an actor, comedian. He's making his first appearance on The Tonight Show. He works frequently at the improvisation here in Hollywood. And he'll be going to Portland, Oregon, August the 22nd to the 26th at a club called Last Laugh. Would you welcome Kevin Nealon? Kevin? <laughs> Thank you very much. You know, I didn't always want to be a comedian. I remember a long time ago, I wanted to be a veterinarian. What happened was this, uh, this baby bird fell out of the tree, you know, and I, I brought him in the house and I nursed him back to health. And uh, I remember for about a month after that, my nipples were really sore, you know? <laughs> so, uh... I don't know what it was. I'm not sure, but I think it was a woodpecker. You know? But uh, this baby bird, he wasn't eating. So I called the veterinarian, and he said that uh, at that age, they're very young, you know? <laughs> he, said, uh, he said that uh, you should feed them using a little eyedropper. So I did that for about a week or so, and uh, he still wasn't eating. The food was just kind of piling up on his eye, you know? <laughs> Well, as he got older, as he matured, I started feeding him little pieces of, of hamburger meat, which is really tough to squeeze out of an eyedropper, you know. <laughs> and the pickles get crammed and everything. But I, I wanted to be a veterinarian. I wanted to do that. It's tough choosing what you want to be when you grow up, isn't it? It's tough making choices in life. Like, uh, you know, what you're going to eat and stuff like that. Because I love to eat. I eat everything. Cookies, cake, ice cream. I like all that stuff. Cracker Jacks. I never had Cracker Jacks growing up. I never got the prize in the box of Cracker Jacks. I felt like I missed out on that. My mother bought other stuff. She, she had me convinced that for a long time that little pork cube and a can of baked beans was a prize. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I used to play with that thing for days, you know? <laughs> yeah. But you gotta choose sometimes. You gotta do it. You gotta make the choice. You know, what are you gonna have, chicken or fish? And where are you gonna eat? Life is full of choices. Okay, let's say I was a waiter. Okay, alrighty. Okay, what would you rather have? Chicken or fish? Fish. Chicken, chicken me too. I take chicken. Okay, that was easy. That was an easy choice. Okay, okay. But, you know, some, some choices are tough to make. Okay, alrighty. Okay. Would you rather have a tooth pulled or would you rather have your tonsils out? <laughs> tooth? Tooth, me too. I take a tooth. Okay, okay, that was easy, that was easy. I, I'm just trying to prove that it's tough to make choices sometimes, you know? And you're making it really hard for me to do that. Okay, <laughs> okay already, okay, all right. Would you rather have somebody take a rotary sander <laughs> and sand your body down to the bone on a slow speed? Or would you rather, gosh, I don't know. Would you rather get dragged behind a train from here to Oklahoma, yeah. naked in a rainstorm? Okay, we got the rotary sander or the train? Train, train me too, I take the train, I take the train. <laughs> Only because I know somebody in Oklahoma. Okay, okay, all right, okay, that, that was easy, that was easy, that was, I, I just, Choices are tough, tough. Okay, all right. Okay. Would you rather be buried up to your neck in dirt and then have somebody paint your head like a soccer ball? <laughs> or would you rather, gosh, I don't know, get shot out of a submarine torpedo tube naked in a rainstorm? Into a rock ledge. Okay, all right, we got the, the soccer ball or the torpedo tube. Soccer ball, let me touch the soccer ball. Torpedo tube wouldn't be bad if it was fresh water, you know. But salt water would burn your eyes coming out that quick. You know, you'd be shooting out like that. Not me, not me. But uh, it's, it's tough, I guess, to choose sometimes. Uh, okay, alrighty, okay. Would you rather have somebody yank this bone out of your forearm through a little slit, just pull it right out of there, 
and then have to go to a great concert and have to clap. <laughs> or would you rather, gosh, I don't know, have somebody take a pair of wire snippers, rusty wire snippers, and have them snip that little tendon that runs from your heel to your calf. <laughs> legs and these little tenons back here and then have somebody chase you with a pitchfork <laughs> naked in a rainstorm okay okay all righty we've got the concert or the wire snippers concert me too i take the concert i take the concert but it's tough to choose i I, uh, I had to make a little choice last, uh, oh, let's make it last Tuesday. <laughs> I, needed a new, uh, I needed a new pair of sneakers and I couldn't decide which ones to get. And I finally got these nice white leather sneakers with the Velcro straps on the top. <laughs> They're great. After the first day I wore them, I looked down, there was about eight or nine wallets stuck to them. <laughs> So they're actually paying for themselves, you know, as they go along. Okay, alrighty, okay then. Would you rather be strapped to a log, naked? In a rainstorm, alrighty, okay, in a rainstorm, alrighty. With a rocket engine on the back. And then, fired into the butt of a rhino. that was already mad to begin with. <laughs> or would you rather, gosh, I don't know. <laughs> or would you rather have the rhino strapped to the log? <laughs> We were going to bring out uh, Rosalind Chow, but since we only have about three, three and a half minutes left, uh, we've asked if she could be with us another night, and I thought I'd bring the young gentleman out who was just here because this is his first time on The Tonight Show, and we could find out something about him. Would you welcome back Kevin Nealon? Kevin! How did it feel? Ah, oh, it felt pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. When said hello backstage, we just... Did I pronounce your, your name right last Is it Neelan or Neelan? Neelan. Neelan. Kevin. Yeah, well, I know a Kevin. Kevin yeah, Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people get that wrong. That's probably it's a Kevin or something like yeah. that and get it wrong. Kevin. Yeah, were you nervous at all? This is the first time you've done our show, and uh, you did very well. Well, I, I had heard a lot about Doc, so I wasn't... Uh, I was a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> that was... It actually was uh, during the summer of 78, and that's all, all behind him now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah it was a good fun. shot. Where, where did you, now you said you were an actor. Have I, have I seen you in something that I... Uh, you might have seen me uh, in some commercials. I've yeah. got a couple of commercials running. I wish I could say I had a nice movie running, but... Uh, and then yeah. we could look at it on the monitor, but... Uh, yeah. I can't you have do no, it. You have no film clip. No, yet. I've been working on the road a lot, traveling around a lot. Yeah, which is fun. The improvisation? Improvisation. Or? I'll be uh, on a club called On Broadway in Santa Monica tomorrow night and yeah. Saturday night. I'm familiar with that place. And, uh, Where just, are you from originally? I'm from Bridgeport, Connecticut. In Connecticut? Yeah. <laughs> Lake Forest, Connecticut, yeah. actually. Where did you get this rather bizarre approach to, would you rather be or... Not, do, you, do you fantasize a lot, or how did that come about? <laughs> I mean, there's some rather, rather bizarre choices there, and I just wanted yeah. to... Yeah. Uh, I sat down with a friend of mine who's here tonight, Mike Brown, and we, we uh, just came up with that stuff, and it got pretty... We had to edit a lot of that, because it got pretty, yeah. pretty sickening. <laughs> this remember, is the mild stuff, you mean. I remember the one we came up with that I would never do on this show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, just, just skirt around this however okay. you feel comfortable with it. Would you rather have your boyfriend or your girlfriend... I wouldn't do this on the show. Yeah. Take a pencil and just kind of ram it through this ear. 
and have it come out that ear, the number two pencil. The number two. And then, while it was still in your head, have them write you a Dear John letter. <laughs> and have them make a mistake. Yeah. So they have to race. They have to race for the other side of the head. No, that's not too bizarre. Uh, I, get, I could do that on a show like this? Sure. Well, Already? they say comedy okay. and tragedy are very, very closely aligned. Yeah. When did you make this step from uh, just, just acting and say, hey, I'd like to come out and stand up in front of audiences and, and do well, material? I, I moved to California about, uh, about seven, seven years ago now. Yeah. And I went by quick. Seven years. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like I just got out here. Yeah. I still have stuff in the car. I haven't brought in yet. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You never want to make a career move until you're sure that, yeah, I wanna, uh, you know, you're better. I hate to be committed. Yeah. <laughs> so in case you have to go back to Connecticut, yeah. what would you do back in Connecticut? There are not you many know, comedy I've, clubs I've in thought Connecticut. About that. I've yeah. thought about that. Okay, I could either... <laughs> or... I don't know. There's not much. I have a marketing degree. Do you? From a big school, Sacred Heart University. Have you heard of that school? Yeah. I, I, sometimes I forget the name of it. But, uh, <laughs> and then I just, you know, I've been traveling around a lot, and I, I just enjoy that now. I wouldn't even think about going back, yeah. you know, for longer than uh, six, seven years, you know. Yeah. But uh, traveling is fun, but, you know, it gets lonely sometimes. Sure. You're on the road, you stay in these hotels, and you don't know anybody or anything. I used to uh, call my girlfriend on weekends, but that didn't work out. And they say calling long distance is the next best thing of being there, right? And it wasn't a... I say the next best thing of being there is being with someone that looks similar. <laughs> Yes. Do it. That's right. <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Good.